Cloud Spanner is a relational database that enables easy scaling of both reads and writes as application traffic grows. But making data changes in a relational database can be tricky. Scaling writes on Spanner depends heavily on transaction behavior. Transactions that spend a lot of time waiting for locks result in high request latencies, which result in slow applications. So it's critical for developers and DBAs to be able to debug transaction behavior. To provide visibility into how transactions are behaving in your workload, Spanner now provides lock and transaction insights. Let me show you how it works. In relational databases, transactions are required to ensure that changes to data are repeatable and consistent. If you have two friends sending you money, the end result should be that your account balance is increased by the total that was transferred to you. If you only have a single threaded application, you wouldn't need to worry about transactions or consistency. But making changes one write at a time is slow. This is why relational databases have concepts like multi-version concurrency control, ACID transactions, and transaction isolation levels. Many transactions can be running at a time, as long as they're not changing the same data. Cloud Spanner takes exclusive locks to avoid transactions making changes to the same value. These exclusive locks ensure critical data doesn't get lost. Locking does mean that transactions may have to wait their turn to change a particular value. This waiting results in higher request latencies. With Spanner's Lock and Transaction Insights feature, you can easily identify if transaction locks are the root cause of any slow writes. Let's say I am notified from an alert that my database is experiencing high amounts of write latency. Going into the Spanner monitoring dashboard, sure enough, there is a high spike of above two seconds in my 99th percentile. I validate the period of time this was happening. Clicking over to Lock Insights, I can confirm that there was an increase in total lock weight and identify that the sample game database was affected. The lock weight per row range allows me to identify the row key ranges involved in transaction locking ordered by total lock wait time in the selected time period. This information is pulled from the lock stats table in the Spanner Sys schema. It seems that most of the lock issues come from the player game index, which tracks null values for a player's current game column and whether the entry exists in the index. Clicking a problematic key range provides more information about the columns that are waiting to acquire locks. It also shows that these columns are using exclusive locks, as well as both reader and writer shared locks. Clicking View Transactions takes me to the Transaction Insights page. This is filtered to the transactions that were causing locks on the Lock Insights page. Here, I can identify which transactions are taking the most time in terms of write latency. Each transaction has a fingerprint based on the hash of any transaction tags provided. If there are no transaction tags, the operations involved in the transaction make up the hash for the fingerprint. I have three transactions listed, but two potentially problematic ones that are over 200 milliseconds in the chart. One spikes with higher latency and then reduces at the end. The other is less latency, but shorter lived. I can drill in to get more information about each one. The first transaction has a high abort count, indicating deadlocking issues. This is due to concurrent requests attempting to assign the same players to different games. The second transaction doesn't have any aborts, but high latency. This transaction is writing to most of the columns of the players table. So this transaction is inserting new players. Another interesting finding is that the latency reduces at the end of this period. This was because I stopped the transaction that assigns players to games. So I have found the root cause of a high write latency. There are two issues. Assigning players to games creates a lot of deadlocks. And secondly, assigning players to games causes higher write latencies for adding new users. Now I can go about making a plan to solve these issues in my application. If you are experiencing high write latencies in your Cloud Spanner database, long transaction locks just might be the reason. These locks can be a bottleneck to your ability to scale writes on Spanner. 
With lock and transaction insights, locking issues in your workload can be quickly identified. Once identified, changes can be made to the transactions or schema to remove the bottlenecks. Go ahead and give lock and transaction insights a try. Let me know in the comments below if this helped you to remove lock contention in your Spanner workload.